the prime spot for the intro. Yeah, perfect. I'm Serena Shahidi. I'm Sebastian Canelli. And it's a beautiful day here in New York City. Not a cloud in the sky. So obviously we have to take full advantage of it with a little tour of the best of the Upper East Side. We're gonna be drinking wine, smoking cigars, having tea. But our first stop is right here, the historic Lexington Candy Shop. I insisted on eating candy before we drank. He always does. We're here at the Lexington Candy Shop with Yvonne. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. The launch in it started in 1925. 1925? Almost 100 years. Yeah, almost, almost, almost. Almost. And now we're still serving the old fashioned Coca Cola. Would you like to have a Coca Cola float? I want to float. Is that, is that the move? Yes. Then I got to have a Coca Cola float. Oh, here we go. Wow. Salsa water? Salsa. Yep, mixing it all up. And here you are. This is amazing. All right, all right let's, let's get into this. Oh my God. I finally understand mm. Augustus Gloop. <laughs> Thank God you're far from my apartments. I can't have a place like this near my home. I know. You're close enough that I'd have to walk, so I'd, I'd burn off the calories. You know when like a little kid had their Christmas dinner and they're all excited? That's how I feel right now. Yeah. <laughs> you're a yeah. kid in a candy store. Ooh, literally. Once you get the pork roll afloat, I can see a smile on everyone. That's so nice. <laughs> There's that. one on me, and that's rare. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Am I making a fool of myself? No, it's fine. We're going to tea after this, you monster. <laughs> We're here at the Carnegie Club, one of my favorite spots to meet middle-aged men and smoke indoors. I'm nervous. A place like this, I get nervous because I want to fit in. I want to seem like a guy, a, a man that can hang. What do I get here? I would suggest uh, the Midnight Manhattan. It's one of our signature cocktails. La Santa Scotch, Montenegro Amaro, and uh, bitters. I know one of those things, and it sounds delicious. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna love it, don't I worry. love that. <laughs> Thank you so much. What do I get here? Something a little more girly? We have a cocktail called the Pulitzer. It's gonna be gin, lemon, elderflower, and fernet. Sounds absolutely perfect. Awesome. You know what's funny? You fit in much more in a place like this than I do. For me, this I, I uh, this feels like, oh, I gotta sit up straight and be proper. And you are proper all the time. How do you feel here? Do you feel like Bond? Because I feel like Bond. That's a, Maybe I gotta give a James Bond energy. I stumble over my words too much and sweat a lot. So that I can't be you Bond. Gotta, you gotta speak slower, more uh, suave. Here you are, the Pulitzer for you. Thank you. And this is the Midnight Manhattan. Wow, uh, this is class right here. I feel amazing, this okay? Is Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Oh. oh. I feel like a girl with that gin. Do you? Yes. I feel tough as crap. I feel awesome. This is tremendous. You want to get a little aroma? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's a stiff drink. I don't think I have enough hair on my chest to be drinking this, but this is tremendous. Uh Wow, right to the eyeballs. This is Carnegie Club's general manager, Scott. This is actually one of my favorite spots to hang out and just live my Bond girl fantasy. Can you tell us a little bit about the history of this establishment? Yeah, sure. I mean, we've been here for over 25 years now, and we are one of the few places in the city that you can still smoke indoors. Hell yeah. Unfortunately, you should be able to smoke indoors everywhere, but... You would hope, but uh, yeah, we were, we were grandfathered in, and there's, I think, only about four of us left. Wow. Uh, Anyone coming to New York that wants to smoke, you're stuck with us, right? That's amazing. It's a privilege to be stuck with you guys. Yes. What's the most boss way to hold a cigar? Do you like the hook? You lean back like a mob boss? Yeah. You know, very equal opportunity. I'm kind of yeah. like whatever, whatever makes you happy, you know? Like, as long as right. you enjoy it. I love that. What? I like to use my whole fist like yeah. it's a vape. 100%. <laughs> I like a two-hander, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and true or false, it doesn't count as smoking if you're already drinking. There you are. Salud. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, all right? And just so we're clear, you don't actually inhale a cigar. Thank just you. To, just to clarify, I don't want anyone getting sick. I make mistakes it's a nice fast place. and loose, you know? I want to uh, feel cool and I want to smoke indoors. Can I ask you, what was a, what brought you here for the first time? What was like, I want to go to cigar bar? Because you don't seem like a cigar bar person. There was one night that I um, was kind of bar hopping and we stumbled into another cigar bar and I ended up really liking it. I just love the ambiance of a cigar bar. It's so old school and fun. Yeah, because you walk into a cigar bar, all eyes must turn towards you. I walk in anywhere. Oh! 
<laughs> no, yeah, of course, of course. But yeah, yeah, this is definitely a mostly male establishment. What's the difference between an older man flirting and a younger guy flirting at a bar? Older men are better at it. You come here, an older man will almost have a nice conversation with you. You know, they have more life experiences, more to talk about. They have a job to discuss. Yes. They don't call themselves a creative director, all that good stuff. When someone asks what I do for a living, I say nothing. And they go, unemployed? I go, nope, never had anything. That's better than saying comedian. Wine bars on the Upper East Side are a great date spot. And there are some really good ones, like Chateau 49 and Leia's. But today, we're here at Serena's. One of the best wine bars on the Upper East Side, and most importantly, my namesake. We're gonna go to Sebastian's, but that's just sitting in the park slamming 40s. We're here with the owner, Hassan. Thank Hello. you for having us. You're welcome. Thank you for letting me in. I, I don't come to classy places like this. This yeah, is beautiful. Yeah, we didn't think you would let him in. Uh -huh. This is for everyone to come. Uh, uh, I'll be on good behavior, sir. Wow, stemware. This only came out during weddings in my family. Yeah. <laughs> so I have an excellent uh, white wine. It's from France. It's 100% Sauvignon Blanc grape. It's our best seller here. What's the wine etiquette? Hold it by the stem. Just grab it and then it just go like this way. Wow. Yeah, slowly. So you have to make sure that he opens up his flavor and then you hold on to your nose and then slowly. Let's do it. Let's do it. Enjoy it. Absolute class. Tremendous. It's great. Yes, this is very absolutely refreshing too. very. Yeah. When you have a wine like this, it's very easy to drink. This wine goes really well with a lot of dishes that we have. For example, you know, charcuterie plates, cheeses. I love a meat and cheese, a charcuterie board, yes. all yeah. tremendous. You take a girl out to charcuterie board, she goes, what I do right? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I like to yeah. show them a good, this is a nice date spot, huh? 100%. Yeah, it's they very romantic. In, really, they come in for one and two, three glasses, It'd be here like two, three hours. Sure. Wow. Because oh. the date's about talking. It's about yeah. enjoying exactly. nice food, talking to yeah. each other. Yeah. Now, if I come in one girl Thursday, a different girl Friday, are you going to call me out? No, never. <laughs> <laughs> if I come in with two guys at once, is that, do you judge for that or no? We never judge. This is a beautiful ambiance. I feel like it's how New York is like uh, romantic. I did it when I created something that is very dark, you know, typical wine bars. I just wanted to create yeah. something very pleasant, very like beautiful. It feels like a place you can like see each other and you can hear each other. Exactly. Which is hard to find in a wine yeah, bar. Yeah, you know, everyone that comes over here, our mission is just you have to feel comfortable here. And we are here to create really positive energy. That's what we do. You're making me feel comfortable. We're here outside of King's Carriage Tea House, one of the best tea houses on the Upper East Side for fancy people like us. Of course, fancy people like us. Pinky's out. Have you done acid? Uh, yes. Nice. And I got scared. Well, I was at an Airbnb in Pennsylvania, and the woman who owned it, she was like, what's it called when you like paint Jesus all the time? It's like. I don't know if that's, is that a word? When you paint Jesus but all the time? She just had a ton of paintings Cookie? of Jesus, and I did acid in there. Oh, that's nice. It's always good to take a break from wine and cigar bars and have a different sort of libation. My personal favorite is some late afternoon tea. Oh my God. Oh. Beautiful. You think Thank I'm classy so enough much. to enjoy tea? You look very classy. <laughs> <laughs> look him in the eyes and say it. Amazing. <laughs> Don't lie to me. Look at you. You have a bow tie. Yeah. I can't believe I'm excited for tea. Here we go. Wow. Okay, so this is our afternoon tea service. This here is oak smoked Scottish salmon deviled eggs with a shaved radish. Goat cheese with fig jam. Down below, your traditional cucumber sandwiches. Everybody must eat cucumber sandwiches with their tea. Of course. Your sweets are here. Warm scones with jam and cream. Thank you so much. Where does a man begin? I always like to go with either of these two layers uh -huh. finished with the sweets. The cream and jam and the scones have any time. This is right, amazing. Always appropriate. I'm so excited. Um, great, I'm gonna pour myself a cup of tea. So that's nice and strong, and you can use that with uh, sugar and milk if you wish. I'll have it black, is that okay? Or Oh, that's perfect. Are you English yourself? Or? I'm Irish. You're Irish. Yes. Irish. Are you from Ireland or? From Dublin. I've been to Dublin. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. I missed tea. I was um, drinking beers. 
Well, now, when you go to Dublin, that's the main thing. Mm. You're gonna drink some Guinness. But there were tea, lots of tea houses in Dublin too. I must have missed Eat them. Your <laughs> If you can't tell from my accent, I didn't grow up around a lot of tea houses. Uh, so I'm very excited to be here. This is amazing. And this, if you were in Ireland or England, this is what you'd have at mid-afternoon, you know, after lunch, sure. before yeah. dinner. And it's more about the conversation than it is about the food. Oh, I love that. To gather around food and drink together, exactly. that's when the conversation really starts flowing. That it is. Enjoy. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you very much. It's Thank you. beautiful. This, I feel very at home. I'll try, like. Whatever this is. Skull and a little butter jelly. Beautiful. Oh, this is just like a tiny bagel. We're here at the auction house, a very cool, very sexy Upper East Side bar, and we're talking to Ada. This is amazing. I love a bar where you can't see my blemishes. Oh my god. Mm. And then you have beautiful blemishes as well. Shut the <laughs> hell up, Adam. <laughs> Look at those cheeks on him. My goodness. Yes. This is perfect for a date because, like, you want a dimly lit bar because that way it's dimly lit so they can't really see you and you're drinking so they don't really remember it the next morning. Yeah, I think you found our secret. So welcome to the auction. <laughs> Thank you. It's a secret to this bar and it's a secret to my love life. Oh, this bar is so cool. I've never been to this bar and it's there's not like many bars that feel like a, just an authentic date bar. This Thank feels you. like that's what it's here for. That's my number one clientele. I have yes. a lot of dates. It's not that you two are on a date. All three of us are on a date. <laughs> All right. Progressive. I love that. <laughs> Right. You yeah, think that right. sometimes when when you're hanging out with people, you're like, I'm part of the dates right now? Yeah, I can make or break the date. I mean, yeah. they give that awkward hug at first because usually they're meeting for the first time, and then I have to kind of get the ball rolling, and then I have to let it go mm. like a child going to college. Wow, it's an art. <laughs> yeah. You ever is. witnessed any really bad dates? All the time. Anything else that you want to share about this bar? Anything that makes it stand out? Well, this month we're 30 years old. You come in, you're like, am I in the right place? Is this the, yeah. there's no sign outside. What is this? And like, when you walk in and you discover this, you're like, wow, this is truly, I think we earned the title, a hidden gem. A thousand percent. And yeah. there's so many places in New York trying to manufacture that now. Yes, yes. Uh, like, like, neon we, signs that say noticed. speakeasy? Yes. Yes. Who are we kidding? You wouldn't have survived the prohibition. I think we're gonna do drinks. All right. Are there any um, like girly cocktails you would recommend for me? Done. What about you? I want a beer. What kind of beer? What's your beer? I like light beer. You like a light beer. Yeah. I got it. Well, hold on. A girly Amazing. cocktail and a girly beer. Yes! <laughs> I'm gonna give you a chilled glass because that's the way I like a nice oh, beer. Nice. Yeah. A burger, hell's no. Of course, I love a Rattenberger. This drink that I'm about to make you, and you can share it, is something I've never seen before. Okay. It's honey bourbon, mezcal, because mezcal is so in right now, and just a tad bit of lime. And you know what? It's just a touch of pineapple, not too much. Not too little. We shake okay. it. I have no idea what this is gonna taste like. This is like. called a smoke and honey. Cheers, I love this Cheers. right to the brim. That's interesting. Yeah. I don't it's, even know how to describe it. I would Do you wanna it, try? I would I'll take a sip. Smoke and honey. You get that. I would also describe it as smoke and honey. And smokiness. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah. Fills yeah. the mouth up. Yeah. I, yeah, I hope it does. <laughs> yeah. It's not like a crazy, because I don't I usually do dark liquor. Well, hold on a second. Do okay. me a favor. Just order for me. Just say, I would like a smoke and honey. Hey, I'd like a smoke and honey. You got one right there. Oh, oh my oh, God. <laughs> Wow, that's good. Every time. Oh, that's my God. That's amazing. I try. I try. This is how you facilitate these dates. I mean, you're, you're how could the day, and if it goes wrong, that's on you guys. And that concludes our little tour of the best of the Upper East Side. Sebastian, how did you like it? How do you like this neighborhood? I'll tell you this I have never spent a lot of time in the Upper East Side. I'm a different type of New York kid, and this is fun. I went to a lot of places I didn't think I would go, and I had a good time. I thought all these places really welcoming and kind. A lot of places that I feel confident I could go back. Yeah. And people like me could go there. There you go. If you're sitting at home wearing a, a t shirt and a chain, just know there are places for you in this world. We're rocking, baby. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great New York City content.